bunnies and today we are back at it with another Q&A because on Monday I posted a Q&A and I asked you guys if you guys got 2,000 likes we would do another Q&A on Sunday and you guys smashed that like button so here we are again with another q and If you guys like these Q&As every weekend, every Sunday or Monday, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If this gets to 2,000 likes again, I will post another Q&A. Also, if you're new, don't forget to hit that sub button with your buddy paw. So today I took a few of your guys' questions off of Twitter because it's kind of how I've been doing it. Hashtag AskLLB. So if you have any questions, be sure to tweet me. All right, by the way, guys, we are outside again because I don't know, I've been loving being outside right, right now because it's so like perfect temperature. And I think it's just like a really nice background to record in. So I hope you guys like it. Alright, so my first question is from King Dutch and King Dutch said what's your favorite thing to cook? I think my favorite thing to cook probably is pizza. I love cooking pizza because you could just throw like a whole bunch of random toppings on it and it usually turns out pretty good. If it's not pizza then definitely I love to bake. Baking is like my favorite thing in the world to do. I actually used to want to be a baker so I love baking. I think I still need my eyeball. So if not that then probably pasta. I like to cook pasta a lot. I Next question is from Mr. Perez97 and Perez said, will you ever start a FIFA only channel or posting you playing FIFA? Um, on this channel, probably not to be honest. Like I might like do like, a one random game if you guys wanted it or something like that. This isn't really a gaming channel anymore. It used to be a gaming channel, which I've gotten a lot of questions about like gameplay and everything like that on this channel. It used to be a gameplay channel and then I kind of just changed it up and turned it into like a random IRL random food channel <laughs> that we just kind of do like random stuff on. And I really like it that way to be honest because I stream on Twitch TV, which kind of like takes up my game portion. So I thought it'd be cool to have like a YouTube channel where I don't stream games games or I don't play games I do something different that way you guys get to see a different side of me so yeah if you want to watch me play FIFA you can come hang out in my stream with me I'll be streaming today our next question is from C does <laughs> stutter much is from Cito RKO Gallardo it said if you have seen Shane Dawson's milkshake slash cake YouTube videos do you think you'll make one like red velvet milkshake I feel like there's a bug out here I just heard it. Um, I haven't seen Shane Dawson's milkshake cake videos, um, but I feel like I should watch one now. Okay, do I think I will make a <laughs> red velvet <laughs> crazy milkshake? Um, I never really thought about it to be honest. If it's something you guys want me to do, I guess I could try it, but I don't feel like it would turn out very good, and I feel like it would turn out really gross and be a super waste of food. But if you guys want me to do it, I can try it. Next question is from Gamer Ozzy said. If you could choose only three games to play for the rest of your life, what would they be? I think they would probably be Overwatch, FIFA, and maybe Rocket League, to be honest. Because I have fun. I'm right now, I'm currently addicted to Overwatch and FIFA 17. They're both super, super fun to me. So I would say those two definitely right now. And then maybe some Rocket League because it'll throw in some like random fun for me. Oh, and let's move on like retro games. And then I would definitely choose Crash Bandicoot. MKSK123456. <laughs> said have you told your parents oh have you told your parents that you have a YouTube channel and what was the reaction um I did tell my family I had a YouTube channel and now I get a call every time I post a video from my mom saying I gave your video a big old bunny thumbs up <laughs> So it's actually pretty cool. She was su my family's super super cool with it. Um, they're really like excited. They like to watch my videos, which is super awesome, especially since they're in California and right now I'm in the East Coast. So it really kind of helps to stay connected or like you know not stay connected, but they can see me do stupid stuff that they normally would see me do and shake their heads at. But now they can't say no and they see it afterwards and they're like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. So they're pretty cool with it. They like it and I'm really really happy that they like them. All right, our next question is from Broom or yeah Broom. I'm just gonna see Broom. Our next question is from Broom. Do you see yourself, oh, do you ever see yourself hitting 1 million subs on YouTube? By the way, Bunny Nation's close to 100K. Congrats. Thank you, Broom. I don't know if I honestly like ever see us hitting a, a, a million views or a million subs on, on YouTube. I feel like you have to be positive and you have to be like, oh yeah, we'll do it. But realistically, I'm like, no way we could ever do that because it's just like crazy, like a million. I can't even believe we have like 80K, 80 something K subs on YouTube. We are close to 100K, which is absolutely Absolutely nuts. Like, I honestly still remember being at like 7,000 subs on this channel and being like, whoa, and I'm still like, whoa. <laughs> and so to me, I still feel like we have like a 7,000 sub channel. I know that sounds really weird and something's on my camera, so I'm sorry. There's like a blue dot somewhere. So yeah, I still feel like we have like 7,000 or like 14,000 subs on this channel, which is really weird. I don't know. Still, I'm like, wait, what? We hit how much? How many? 
sub for you. So I don't know. It would be really, really, really cool. Definitely a dream of mine to hit like a million subs. I think it's like the coolest thing ever. Just like a huge milestone to be honest. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe one day. <laughs> My next question is from John underscore mutt 17. If you could only go to one restaurant for the rest of your life, which one would it be? Oh man, I don't know. Uh, restaurant wise, I am in love with the Olive Garden. I think the Olive Garden's really good. Um, so maybe like the Olive Garden because I would eat like fettuccine Alfredo every day with a salad and breadsticks and oh my god, I'm so happy with my life. Plus they have pizza, not like the greatest pizza, but they have okay pizza. So yeah, probably Olive Garden. All right, my next question is from Joe underscore swindles three. Can you do a painting of the Redskins? logo I actually want to do a painting really bad of the Redskins logo for Ant or for skills um, I think it'd be really really cool because it's his favorite team or his favorite football team so I'm totally down to do one I know we have a few more paintings in mind that I'm gonna be working on super soon because I just finished my last painting so yeah all right, all right next question is from silly underscore Willie and he said would you rather speak every language fluently or be able to play every instrument at an expert level I think I would rather play every instrument at an expert level because I feel like as important as communication is there's nothing like communicating through music and if I could play like every single instrument on expert level I feel like I'd be able to sing so I'd be like singing and playing you guys stuff all the time this would now be a music channel <laughs> from smoke <laughs> I'm just gonna call you Smoke. Smoke said, would you ever think of selling any paintings you do? I love, I would love an Arsenal one. Thanks in advance. Smoke, um, I definitely am gonna be selling or I'm currently selling the paintings that I have already. Um, that are, I'll, I'll like post it on my Twitter and everything like that. So all of those are basically for sale. The Ronaldo one's for sale. The Ebra ones are for sale. Um, and yeah, those ones are the ones for sale. I might do an Arsenal one sometime soon. I'm not quite sure who I want to do for Arsenal yet. Um, I don't really, I'm not really doing like logos. I usually do like people. So I'll probably do like a player from Arsenal sometime soon. I definitely want to do Neymar soon. I want to do Sanchez soon. Um, there's a few more players I want to do soon. So yeah, comment down below if you want to see me do another player. Who you want me to do? I don't know who to do yet. All right, our next question is from Vicstar125. Are you thinking of doing a game series on your channel? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I'll, I, I don't, think this is going to be a gaming channel. Do you guys want me to start posting games on this channel? Comment down below if you want me to do it. And if like somebody comments it, be sure to give that comment a big thumbs up. That way I can see if you guys are interested in me posting games to this channel still or not. Because we haven't really posted a game to this channel in like probably like six or seven months. So I don't know. I haven't really thought about posting games here. Like I said, I stream. So our, our next question is from F underscore Bihoy. And he said, did you like football slash soccer before you met skills? Um, I had, wasn't really too familiar with football, no, or soccer. I wasn't really familiar with it too much. Um, like I had seen a few people play it and I wanted to play it in high school really, really bad. But the players on the team kind of made fun of me when I first like, well, I didn't even try to play football. I just walked on the field and they were like, oh my god you don't play football ha 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 and I was like okay and so I just left because I was really uncomfortable and they started making fun of me that like I didn't know how like I didn't know anything because I I played other sports at school so they all made fun of me so I kind of had like a really bitter taste in my mouth about football and about soccer so I didn't really like ever try to learn it after that I was just kind of like oh wow they're, they're, jer they're jerks so after my aunt I was kind of like familiarized with like football and like Befica and everything like that so I started watching he taught me a lot he taught me basic like the basics to know about it I feel like so now I really like it I enjoy it it's definitely one of my favorite sports our next and last question is from T-R-T-H-O-L and he said what is your spirit animal to be honest I think my spirit animal is probably like a bear um, that or like a wolf, I think, oh, um, but probably because I like to cuddle a lot and I feel like bears cuddle. Like, I feel like they're a good cuddle partner because all they do want to do is sleep in the winter and that's me. I just want to sleep and cuddle and be warm and that's it. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel like wolves or dogs do that too. They like to cuddle. So I'm one of those. I like to cuddle a lot <laughs> and just kind of be lazy and hang out. So that's me. That's my spirit animal and my spirit food. Guys, comment down below what your spirit food is and your spirit animal, but most importantly, what your spirit food is. I think my spirit food is pizza because even a little one like me can be packed full of good toppings. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the worst person ever. I'm the worst advertiser ever. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this Q&A. If you did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Remember, if this gets 2,000 likes, we'll do a Q&A next Sunday as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys the day after tomorrow. Bye! And if you do, don't forget to hit that sub button with your buddy paw. <gasps>